Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time, everyone, we are going to be taking a look at the final Transformers review of the year. And this is no better way to end the year. But before I do that, I will briefly talk about the review of the Transformers 6 Bumblebee film. All I was in a recent film, I can say that I would have a first value. It was just that epic. So this time, everyone, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations, Power of the Primes, Leader Class, Optimus Primal, or Optimal Optimus. Amazing as all. It looks incredible. It looks just outstanding. It looks terrific. So as you can see, we have Optimal Optimus and Optimus Primal. Okay. So we have a few modes to go through. So first and foremost, let's just talk about Optimus Primal here real quick. See, his Ultra Mode is that of, well, it looks similar to that of the Axelon from Beast Wars. Well, it's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't turn to a gorilla in this case, but oh well. Primary colors, primary colors we'll see for Optimus Primal is, well, traditional black and white, silver, red, maximal symbol on the, the shoulder there, and both sides of the ship. Uh, Transfers of clear plastic. He's got the matrix of leadership. We'll talk about that later on. You can see the back of Optimal Optimus's head, uh, and that's really it. Uh, so yeah. Looks pretty cool, what can I say? But we'll get to Primal here in a minute. Optimal Optimus, of course, we know he is, you know, his primary colors is gray, black, uh, orangish gold, yellow, uh, dark blue, silver, gray, two maximal symbols on the shoulders here, and that's really it. Uh, of course, he was in Power of the Primes, he uh, was the Guardian of the Recreate Blaster. He fought Megatron. He uh, he fought Megatronus for a few few minutes near the end, and then he subsequently gained the Matrix of Leadership. You know, and that's how he became Optimal Optimus. So there's that. Um, so yeah, all in all, Optimal Optimus here looks pretty cool. What can I say? So he's got a few modes. We got the singular Gorilla mode, and we got this the just the generic generic. Spaceship mode. He does have a couple modes. We'll start with mode one, and this is an obvious reference. We have a couple of slots here on the bottom here, and a couple of clips on the sides here. So all we need to do is just lock them into the place here. So we got got a couple tabs and a couple slots here. Okay, and we're going to clip them into place where the slots reside, and they will take a few minutes of pressurization to. Do it so one at a time here with all legs here. So we will. Uh, where are you go there? And come on, get it there you. Uh, there we go. And pretty much in a nutshell, you have. Depends on the surface you're standing on, but basically in a nutshell, you have Optimal Optimus riding Optimus Primal, which is a clear homage reference to his original Transmetal 1 format, where he, he uh, his full transformation was a gorilla riding on a surfboard. Uh, so it, it was it's pretty cool. I love it. It's very awesome. So Love this mode, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, I wish there was something you could stand on with him, but there's not really, so what can you do about that? So we will untab Optimal Optimus from, from this, and we will talk about, actually, does go with a couple accessories beforehand. He comes with, comes with a couple of guns here that are actually meant for a lot of modes for his, but let's get to that right now, actually. So, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yes. So, how about we just, first, before we do that, let's talk about the articulation quickly on Gorilla Mode. As you saw, the head can turn 
side to side, but it will go full 360 once you put them into the cavity there, but that's due to transformation. I can understand why they did that. Arms go full 360, out to the side, they can extend in and out, just like the original toy. The wings are poseable, the wrists have elbow movement, he has movable hands and thumb, his waist turns due to transformation, legs forward and back, out to the side, bottom of the knee, rotate, and the feet can ankle tilt and whatnot. So all in all, Gorilla Mode looks pretty good, and articulation here just looks astonishing. I will say that. Uh, I was going to show you, you can attach... Sorry. You can attach Optimal, or Optimus Primal to the back of Optimus Gorilla Mode. And basically, how you do that is as follows. There is... Uh, what you need to do here is come to the front of the... Come to the back here of... A primal here all right and break or not break pop open or untab the ah, shit uh, what you really want to do is just you know pop this open and then pretty much uh, oh shit oh damn how did I Yeah, there's a couple of slots and tabs here that you could attach the main part of Optimal on here. So, I don't know why you're not connecting. Unless there's something else I... Oh, actually, yes, there is. Uh, yeah, basically, what you can do is... Yeah, take the main part here, flip that around, just flip that around on the side here. There is, there's a couple of slots of pegs, you can peg the, there's a couple of clips here, you can slide the main part like this. I'll clip that back in here quick. Slide that on, and pretty much you can attach the main guns onto onto the main part of of the gorilla. So get that in, and there you go. There you have. Monkey bot optimal optimus with his cannons. I know I may have not done it correctly, but what can you do? It just it looks pretty close enough, so there's that. You can move it forward, whatnot, and that's the end of that. Okay, so you can unconnect that from that. We'll get to optimal in a minute. So back to Primal himself. Let's just talk about this quick before we get into Primal's robot mode, and then we can Let's see here. Yeah. So all in all, Optimal Optimus here, or Optimus Primal here looks pretty good. I love the jet mode, it looks epic. Okay, transformation to robot mode is pretty easy. What we're gonna do is unpeg the back here like this. Alright. Just get the fuck. Hope it didn't screw it up. Hope it didn't screw this one up. Yeah, so fold that back, untab the legs from the side here, and turn them full right to the side here. Open up these panels here, untab the sides here, and then the last little thing, come to the chest, open it up, flip open the head, close the chest up. And there you go, there you have Optimus Primal in his robot mode, and God, he looks pretty good, I'll say that. He just looks pretty, pretty impressive. I know it's not accurate to the Machinima universe because he looks like a gorilla, but what can you do? Articulation as follows, the head can go full 360, arms go full 360, out to the side, bend at the elbow, they can rotate, he has no wrist, he has no waist. The legs go forward back, out to the side, bend at the knee, rotate, and that is it for transformation. He has no feet or ankle tilt whatsoever. Take a look at his head, it looks so well done, it just looks pretty impressive. 
it just it it just really screams Optimus Primal right there. It just really does. Uh, the weapons you can well, this is kind of silly, but the instructions tell you to hold them like like laser swords, but I just like to hold them as cannons here. So what can you do? But I mean, all in all, Optimus Primal here looks pretty pretty good. Like it really reminds me so much of what he was meant to be before he became a gorilla in the the pilot of Beast Wars. It really does. It looks very good. It just really looks very good. So yeah, Primal here looks great. Love the detail. Looks epic. It just looks pretty good. Okay. So let's see what else do we need to do? Oh yes, the next part of this is going to Optimal Optimus's jet mode. So, what we do with that is we need to we need to basically turn Primal back into his ship mode. That will take no longer than a couple seconds. We hope uh, if we could get the so I can there we go get the things tapped in. Make sure everything's tapped in as much as possible because I'm really you know. Because we don't want anything to go too, too wrong since, you know, and open the chest up. That, then fold, fold around the chest bit. And there you have pretty much the optimal ship mode. So, set that off to the side. Okay. So, going to jet mode requires optimal optimus. First thing you want to do is take the head. You could leave it like this, but the instructions say to turn the head around and rest it against the crevasse. Which is sad, but what can you do? Rotate these blue parts forward, kind of like the original toy I reviewed earlier in the year, and point the arms up, like this. Prominently lay down the uh, body and pretty much fold the wings up. The feet, what you need to do is fold the feet up. They don't connect. The instructors say to connect them, but you can just rest them. Take the wrists here, or take the forearms and turn them forward, so that way that things go smoothly. Rotate the wings around to prominent position. And then what you should do, or probably should do, is take the, uh, Oh crap. Uh, pretty much. Sorry, we'll rotate these guys down, rotate the blue parts down. So that way we can properly uh, clip the eyes into place. If we can. Uh, oh shit. Okay, turn the blue parts up. Basically, we want the the jet mode kind of like this, in a sense. Like that, and then rotated. Twenty eighteen in a nutshell, guys. What, what 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 more can I say? It's just fucking beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. Um, ah. Okay, I am going to stay with me, guys, because this is going to require a lot of patience and a lot of. You know, because this is... For God's sakes. That's not what I want. Okay, so. Uh, fuck. Sorry, guys. I'm just... These... This shouldn't take this long. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on, 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 come on. Come on. Yeah, because I, sorry, this is like my second time transforming this dude, and I am just flabbergasted as to what needs to be done here. Um, yeah, so that's the thing here. Okay, I mean, this is really, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so... Basically, what we really need to do, sorry guys, I'm just looking at the instructions. 
what you need to do for primal here is pretty much fold down this part of the ship and take the guns and flip them forward or peg them into place so now that we can give you the the prominent look on the jetpack ah uh, let's see Sorry, my phone's going off like crazy tonight. I just New Year's all that stuff. Oh, what a New Year's. I mean, this is kind of a. Sorry, I'm just crazy. Okay. <sighs> okay, so there is a tab right on his ass. There is a. Should be a slot somewhere. And you're supposed to peg it into place right along. Yeah, like that. So do that. Fold on this. Fold on the wings. Sorry, guys. And sorry, I'm an idiot. And there you go. There you have Optimal Optimus in his jet mode. And it looks pretty good. It really does. I mean, yes. Unfortunately, in the Machinima universe, he never transformed. Aside from Primal becoming Optimal Optimus, that was the only transformation he did. He didn't turn into this. This figure sadly does not turn into his fourth alternate mode, which is just his 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 tank mode, his arm rolling car mode, which basically was, if you remember, it was just basically extending the arms, having the arms like this, having the cockpit like rise to the top, and then you would flip out a wheel. And then wheels would probably flip back out here, and they'd roll along the rod. But in this instance, it doesn't happen. Which, I understand why, but it would have been nice to add that fourth mode. I understand why they, they uh, sacrificed the fourth and final mode for that. But he barely used it in Beast Wars, and he never used it in, in, in Power of the Primes. It's sad, I know, right? It's really sad. The Fat Controller and Sir Topham Hat were furious that day. It just really was. It really was. It really was. It really was. Okay. Why am I repeating myself? And phone, please stop. Okay. I'm going to put my phone on, on uh, silent for the remainder of this review if it does it again. Because I am so into the point where I really am so, like, ready to, to pop, like... It and what I mean by pop it is just something that is has only can, you can only see once but never do again. Um, so, I mean it's it's unfortunate but necessary," said the Fat Controller and Sir Topham Hat. But I mean I'm a crazy dude and this is a great video review. This video review is a video review of lots of video reviews, so we can properly talk about this jet mode in de great detail. The jet mode is qu quite amazing. It's just so innovative. It's just so magical. Like, because this is the mode that Optimal Optimus used a lot in Beast Wars. He really did. It just really, really did. Um, so, it really evolved a lot of this, so. All in all, jet mode here looks pretty amazing. What can I say about that? Okay, transformation to his robot mode. Oh, before I do that. Cannons do not turn. They don't go up to... Well, they can kind of go up and down, but... They don't rotate. They don't do that, so... Yeah. Unlike the original toy. So, anyways. Going to his robot mode is pretty fun and pretty innovative. So, we will properly get rid of Primal and do the rest of the body from this. So, to do the rest of the transformation, fold down the feet like this, extend the legs downward like this, okay? And they can be a little bit tricky to do, because they are very tight in most cases. Fold the wings back along the sides here, okay? Like this. Then what you want to do is you want to rotate the arms down We'll take both arms down and take both wings and fold them back along its side. Take the arms here, or, well, yeah, because it's going to be part of the transformation here. Turn the arms like this, and then open both arms or hands and flip around the thumbs, kind of like the original toy. 
And then what you want to do is you want to take the waist, rotate the bias, like that. And then there's a couple tabs here. There is a couple of slots built in within and just basically, just basically peg these guys into place. And they can be a bit of a tricky pain in the butt to do. So you kind of have to fiddle with it. There we go until it's locked into place. For the chest piece, you want to basically fold up and down like this. And then for the back piece, you just want to, you could kind of leave it like that to, to mimic the original toy, but the original, but the, the main part of it, there's a couple more tabs, there are a couple more slots built into here. And then you can just let, lock that into place. And then the final bit of the transformation is his head. And getting the head out can be a bit of, well, not usually a pain in the rear, but that depends on your copy of the figure. And basically what you can do is lift up his head, click it into place, and rotate it around like thus. So there is that. And there you go. There you have Optimal Optimus in his robot mode. And my god, doesn't it look so amazing? And I'm talking like him all of a sudden. I don't know why. I have my inner Ron Perlman, Gary Chalk voice. Don't know why. Anyways, articulation wise, his head can go full 360. That's it. Arms can go full 360 out to the side. Similar, arti similar articulation as Gorilla Mode. Uh, can rotate at the forearm, bend at the elbow. Hands can open up and down. Thumb can move, wrists can rotate, forearms can rotate. He has waist due to transformation. The legs go forward and back, out to the side, bend of the knee, rotate, and that is it. Feet can go up and down, and that is that for that. His head. We are taking a look at his head. This is my only nitpick with the head. This is my only nitpick with the figure. Take a, oh, fuck. Take a look at his head. Looks very good. It looks very much like the show. Only problem is his eyes are red in Machinima's in the show, and that's my little problem here with Optimal here. A little bit loose knees. Don't know how that happened. And you can see that the thing. Ah, fuck. Just gonna move that back out here. This can stay. Yeah, basically the eyes are red. Machinima's universe, they're green, much like much like the toy, the original toy, and the original Beast Wars series. They were green. Don't know why they did that, but because Optimus Primal, when he's Optimus Primal, he his uh, eyes are red. Um, other things to talk about. Oh yes, these blast shields can pop off, and you can put them on top of the shoulders here, much like the original show. They don't like blast blast off like the original toy. But you can pop them off and put them on it to your liking. But Machinima had them through and through, had them just on his forearms like this. His. Now, in robot mode, much like in the show, much like in Beast Wars, and in Machinima, which he used once, you can attach the guns and you can have his chest cannon, his iconic chest cannon that he had. However, Machinima, he just fired flames at Rodimus Unicronus when they had their duel. That was that. His, shoot, his, the guns themselves, you can take the guns and you can combine them into forming a large cannon like thus. And there is a peg or hole on the thumb that you can connect the said cannon on. And it can be a bit of a, let's see here. Sorry, it, it can be a bit of a pain to get the thing on, but just the, how it was constructed and whatnot. Oh, for God's sakes. But basically, you can have a holding like this. It kind of looks silly. It really, really does. So, just like a grilled mode, I'm just going to store the guns on the back of the shoulders, just for the purposes of this review. And then the, oh yeah, I will show off quickly here. 
I'll show off quickly here, the bio card for Optimal Optimus. And looks artwork looks amazing, just him in his gorilla mode. It just looks pretty good. Optimal Liege Maximo inspires others with tales of Cybertronian glory. Very well done, Optimal Optimus. Just looks very, very good in a sense. And the final thing to show off of this figure is, of course, the Matrix of Leadership, which he, of course, he used to become what he is now in Machinima. In Beast Wars, he carried the Matrix to save Optimus Prime's spark, uh, which is, funny enough, is kind of homages that because of the color of it. So, much like in Beast Wars, you can open the cockpit, pull out the Matrix, and there's the said Matrix. It's just a repaint of both Optimus Prime's Matrix, Rodimus Prime's Matrix, and the Matrix of Chaos that comes with Rodimus Unicronus. And yes, I'm aware that there is going to be another Matrix of Chaos that comes with Nemesis Prime, which is going to be epic. It's an Amazon only. I don't know if I'll get that, but it popped that out. There's the main part of the Matrix. Looks just incredible. Really, really does. Really does. Um... You can pop back the matrix inside the chest, close it up like that, and then let's see here. Come on, about nine seconds here for this. Is size comparison wise, here he is with Optimus Prime from the same line. As we all know, at the end of, of, of the Prime Wars trilogy. Optimus Prime and Optimal Optimus walked down the hallways of the Primal Basilica, heading towards a warship, heading for parts unknown, which will continue in Relic Wars, which you've seen in my updates, thanks to me. Thank you. And you can see that... <sighs> Stand up, Optimus. But basically, you've got the two leaders of the Autobots, the predecessor and the successor, the teacher and and the student. You know, it's just incredible. It really is. I really liked how they interacted at the end of Prime Wars trilogy. It really like Beast Wars missed out on that opportunity, but they never succeeded in the end. Like it's especially like with with Megatron and Megatron, like in Beast Wars, like basically G one Megatron interacting in the deleted scene that never happened was meant to happen so there's that so there's that so yeah yeah it's a nice comparison prime is eh, optimus optimus prime is a bit taller than optimal optimus just because of his mass i mean they share a lot of similarities you know the chest detail the heads the symbols on their shoulders it really really evokes it so much and of course they both come with matrices which was epic and similar head sculpts right now so yeah all in all will i recommend getting optimal optimus of course you should get him he is such a fun figure the transformations are exciting his robot mode's incredible his gorilla mode's epic his jet mode's pretty dank and i liked the fact that they <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there, but anyways, hopefully that will let's limit let's limit the amount of interruptions to zero next year because there are a lot of complaints on the outside universe about it, and it really was getting on my nerves. So please, let's just keep it to a zero while I'm reviewing and stuff. Thank you. So basically, back to what I was saying. Optimal Optimus is a highly recommended figure if you can find him. He's incredible. He is an excellent figure. He's a, a great addition to your collection. Um, really amazing figure and just all around an outstanding figure to say the least. Just, I like the fact that with the leader classes you could include, like, you basically had, you know, it, for example, Orion Pax and Optimus Prime. You had Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime. You know, and here you have Optimus Primal and Optimal Optimus. It just really, I really like that concept. It really, really oozed a lot of, you know, a lot of that out. It really did. It really did. 
So, highly recommend purchase can find him. You won't be disappointed by this guy. He is incredible. He's a must-have in your collection, and you will not be disappointed by this figure one bit whatsoever. Uh, so yes, everyone, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes Leer Class Optim Optimal Optimus with Optimus Primal. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible for the next video. And yes, shout out to uh, to Kate Pavlova, my my sweetheart. I I love you. Uh, Huge thanks to everyone who partook in all the amazing videos I did this year. Shout out to everyone who per who supports this channel, does so well, and 2018 was a rough year, and here's to a healthy and happy and most exciting and highly expected, ex with that highly, with high expectations, a highly anticipated 2019. Expect a lot more to come from me and others in the near future because there's just more to do. There really is. Uh, so, yes, everyone, that's my review of the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes Leader Class Opt Optimal Optimus with Optimus Primal. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible for the next video. Yes. So, take care, everyone. See you soon. Have a very great day. And I shall catch you all, guys, in the new year. Bye bye.